It was not long time ago that we had an eruption near the Grindavik, to the north of it, in the Sundunka uh, chain of craters, the weakest point in that area. We had an eruption, and now we are going to have another one. Like the first one, it is very likely that it happens in the same place. You will see a daylight looming in the middle of the Icelandic winter time, and that is the eruption happening. We know that the Sununka eruption was not the first time that this uh, dike was active. This extension was active in the past. This was just the latest episode of it that we had. Ended up first in a dry eruption in the Grindavik, cracks in the ground and gases rise into the surface, gaseous phase of the magma. Then we had the actual magma, liquid one, coming out. New risk assessment shows that in the same area of the Sununka craters, Along that fissure, we will have the eruption. The area is there. The molten lava is there, not completely solidified. It's like the middle of the half-boiled egg. It's yet runny. You can dip your <laughs> bread if you want to. Uh, don't watch this if you're hungry. <laughs> that is nice for the breakfast. The middle part of the fissure, or as we call it, dike, is not actually solidified yet. The magma is yet in the liquid form. And this liquid actually is the easiest path for the magma to rise again from the same location. It's not going to crack probably somewhere which is hard, solid, and is difficult to actually open up. It goes to the middle part. That is the easiest part and erupts again. We have evidence for that. We see the gases arising from the Sundunka eruption, the field of lava, as you can see here. All those former vents are yet active in a sense of fumoles. And you can see this is the fumaroles that also in the 13th century coming from that crack. You can see the cracks in the ground, the fissure in the ground of the Sundonka on the ground actually at the edge of the lava field. This area is completely broken, shattered. We have geological examples everywhere. These are dikes that you can see formed, the same fissure you can say. And the evidence for the flow in the middle of the fissure, that means that it was liquid, is evident also in the field. When you go to geological uh, field, you can see that. And this is quite possible that the north of Grindavik will have eruption again. 